colours of white and red, weighing in at 50.4 kilograms and a perfect professional record. Nine wins, no losses. Seven wins come by way of knockout. He fights out of Kimara in Tanzania. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mustafa. Excellent professional record, 20 wins, 1 loss, 2 draws, 14 wins come by way of knockout. He is a former 2008 South African Olympic team member, a WBC International Flyweight Champion, the reigning South African Flyweight Champion, fighting out of Tembisa in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jackson. to the center of the ring. Eric Causa, you have the bell. Box out. We put no debuts. Please, speak to the rules. Obey my command at all time. Let the best man be the winner. Check it. There's the referee instructions uh, from the man in the ring, Eric Koza, uh, is officiating this ABU flyweight title fight. Looking at uh, Mustafa Mukapisi in the, in, the, in the corner, you know, I'm, I'm quite loving his demeanor right now. He looks very, very relaxed. Doesn't look overwhelmed, especially by the words said by Jackson Chauke. Um, so, uh, good luck to the young man all the way from Tanzania, uh, the city of Kimara. Well, a lot of talk, a lot of smack talk was done between the both of them. They've got 12 rounds to sort out their problems here on the string. The other set of problems certainly will be sorted out by then. I mean, uh, Mukabizi did the, the less of the talking uh, this time, you know. So, yeah, uh, Jackson, uh, Jackson M3, you know, he put a lot of pressure on himself. But uh, I think uh, his record definitely does speak for itself. I think Chauke did, did a good job of asserting himself in terms of mental games and, you know, everything before the fights, you know, get, trying to get into... Mustafa's mind, uh, but let's see if it's affected him. Let's, that, that's where you see how mentally strong Mustafa is as well. No, certainly. I mean, uh, Chauke ate his opponent up in the in the, in the pre-fight interviews. In fact, you were hosting that uh, in a versus ta his versus table uh, interview. That's right. Uh, that was having, pure gold, by the way, Hayden. <laughs> having the two guys uh, side by side with me as well, and uh, you know, having them talk to each other. You know, Jackson's been known to put a hand on on, on his opponent's throats when he gets too close to him in some way, and so we had to uh, separate the two with quite a big table. And uh, you know him personally as well, Ricky Shabalala. He's quite a quite a fun character, isn't Jackson? Quite a, Hayden, beautifully, beautifully. You know, I think. Uh, he well, is definitely, the corners, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, Jackson is a very, very uh, uh, lively character and, um, you know, absolutely loved uh, the banter that he had. And, uh, yeah, what a, what a lovely one, you know, lovely banter. I think uh, he's definitely one of those, uh, how can I say, a showman. We took a while to get you, Rick, so I don't know if you were saying something before that as well. Well, listen, uh, just to answer your question, Alan, I think, you know, knowing Jackson, he's definitely been a showman. He, you know, he's a showman in the gym. You know, he's a showman in the lead up into the fight. And uh, he's a showman in the ring. I think he's through and through uh, uh, someone who's going who's gonna to put on a performance for the crowd. And uh, he's got something dangling in front of him. That's the And, and so does Mustafa, the ABU flyweight title. And uh, ABU's got an association to the WBC, which is why we are going to have our, our, our scorecards read out every four rounds as well. Referee Eric was a very, very like, assertive as he gets in there and separates the two. I'm seeing now that, uh, you know, uh, Jackson has, uh, he's, he's making his way into that pocket and then we have it there. You know, he's closed the gap that, uh, and that reach advantage gives Mukapisi. Yeah, you see, the thing is, Mustafa's going to come correct you. 
Yeah, um, doesn't look, uh, you know, does, Mustafa looks 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 good in the uh, in the opening stanzas. He's got a nice little uh, high guard. You know, he's got something there. He's using his reach. You know, nothing 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 uh, spectacular in terms of output. But it's a, it's round one. We don't expect that. So twelve round fight. Uh, you need to pace yourself when when you're fighting a twelve round fight, and especially against a veteran of the sport. You know, Jackson's been twelve rounds many times uh, uh, for, for for the people back at home. You know, he's a very experienced guy. He has put away a lot of guys as well. But you know, it's a it's an experience factor, and this is why Mustafa has come here. He's come here to to try capture everything that Jackson's worked on his entire career. No, I certainly agree with that. And you know, um, talking about uh, Mustafa's reach, you know, it's something that I feel that he should keep on using. Um, he's testing out in the first round. You know. Um, just testing uh, Jackson's head movement, seeing if he's still going to be there, where he sees him, he's going to touch him. Um, I think he's done pretty well, you know, for, 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 for a visitor. Yeah, as well, Jackson Chalker, age 37 right now, so he's in the twilight years of his career, so he's going really to make the best of it now, because he's got a lot of young fighters, so he's fighting a succession of young fighters, but they're keeping him young. What do you think, Ricky Chavanagh? I think they're definitely keeping him young, you know, youthful and, and aware. Um, it, I think it's the best thing for Jackson, you know. He is the last of our Olympians, you know. He's a, he's a very, very, very uh, decorated fighter. He's not just somebody, some, 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 you know, kind of uh, uh, gentleman who's been in the game. He's been in the game at a high level. I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, like, basically, he's just not a normal boxer. He's at an upper level. 100%. Definitely, definitely. He's rubbed shoulders with the best on a, on a world stage. Some people we've seen, you know, uh, on world level in America, out in uh, MG and Grand. You've got Rashid Warren. You know, uh, he's, he's definitely one of the, the well-knowns that he's touched base with. Padu Jack, also another another elite from the Floyd Mayo, the gym. So these guys touch base when they're really young. I think you pick up a lot of things being around uh, uh, such guys, and you can see it, yeah. In the, in the quality of the uh, approach from Jackson. This is what he's finding it difficult to, uh, to get on Mustafa's inside there. Mustafa's very, very closed up. Mm. He's not open for shots. Not only is he closed up, he's got a very, very wide base as well. It's difficult for Jackson to uh, to close that real estate, you know, uh, and, get, and get to the spot that he really want, want, wants to be in, which is, a, which is definitely on the inside. Uh, he's using those long limbs to advantage. Oh, getting out, uh, Jackson missing him there quite wide. Uh, Mustafa's not getting tagged with the shots that uh, Jackson wants to hit him with yet. He's, he's fighting on the outside. It would have been interesting to see how they prepared for this fight. It certainly would have been because, I mean, you, you, you will see there's a huge difference in the, the build of, of both people. Yes, uh, you know, Jackson is shorter, but he isn't much stockier than, uh, than uh, Mustafa, you know. And Mustafa looks like he's got quite a, 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 an interesting and possibly surprising arsenal uh, behind him. Mustafa's got like a... A shoulder roll, like look, <laughs> like you know, he's he's got the the hand down there, but he's not turning. He's like he's quite frontal. He is quite frontal. I think what he has noticed is that uh, Jackson Chauke has to punch up. Uh, and that means that he might uh, keep going to the body. You can see he covers his body. Uh, Mustafa covers his body pretty well. He covers the trunk. You know, gives a very very good, a good shell, a defensive shell, and uh, that forces his opponent, who is shorter, to start punching higher. That being said. He, he doesn't have to roll much. He doesn't have to roll his shoulder much to, for him to be out of reach. I think he's doing pretty well right now. Yeah, he's doing well. He's got uh, decent, uh, decent, I say, uh, distance. But there's Jackson. This is what you need to do for Jackson. You need to put him back on the ropes, right, Briggs? Sure thing, man. You know, I think, uh, uh, you know, biding your time, trying to find a way in. We did say Mustafa, uh, Mustafa's got a, 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 a tight defense, uh, but it seems like Jackson's weaving under the punches, the jab, he slips his head to the to the left, and then you roll back under, and uh, it, it seems to be, uh, you know, limiting Mustafa's best tool, his lead hand. Okay, so Ricky has pointed out that, you know, he's slipping under the jab. What I would like for, for uh, Mustafa to do is fake that jab and come up with an uppercut, because honestly, yeah. Jetson Chauke is dipping a bit low. Mm. I would love to see, he has had a, yeah, I think he's had two uh, successful uppercuts so far. Sure. I'd love to see more of those. Yeah, that's probably been his most successful punch, you know, apart from the jab itself. You know, the jab itself has been working. But uh, let's, have a look at, let's have a look at the highlights from that round to see exactly what punches were actually landed. 
what a round. Uh, then you got a nice over and round as Jepson slips that jab and comes over, makes him pay, makes him miss, makes him pay. He rolls underneath it, that's what we're saying, and uh, manages to find a left hook on the inside. So as he's rolling, he's edging forward slightly. He stretches the left hand out to kind of control his opponent, and then he lets go of short tight shots once he's found that control. Looking good. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Jackson, this is the round that you said you are going to knock out Mr. Stuff. It's round number three now, so let's see if we can deliver on that promise. Let's see if he can do it. <laughs> he certainly uh, does talk the talk. You know, I was between these two gentlemen. I have the rights. <laughs> <laughs> certainly. Uh, that's Bruce Hayden from SA Boxing Talk. Ripping a very nice jab there from Chalke. Another nice jab there as well. Hey, watch the angle he found there. Beautiful angle. Beautiful angle with a, with an uppercut there. A left uppercut. Oh, great left hook. That could be it. Well, it's round three. That was a flash. That was a flash left hook. Oh, it doesn't look like his opponent is going to stand up. He's on the seven card. Oh, he stood up. He's getting up. The man woke up from the dead. He looks like he was actually Undertaker. out. Tyson Fury. My goodness. Undertaker, Tyson. That was a slow count. Wow. It felt like we were here for like wow. a year. Wow, I wonder if... Oh, he's going to go. He's going to go. Yes. Mustafa holding on for dear life. Oh, man. He's saying he's not holding. Shaky. Mustafa's like me, I'm holding. There's he no is way. shaky on his feet. <laughs> he is very, very shaky, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking like a newborn giraffe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Ah, you try, you try, you try. He's, a, he's, a bit, he's a bit jelly on the feet. The legs are a bit wobbly. You know? I mean, there's, there's a backhand. What, what, what? A backhand in the boxing ring. And he goes down again. Got some speechless. I, I can't even. A newborn giraffe. It's a new height. <laughs> let, let, me, let me brain myself back in. Uh, but yeah, no, not looking stable on his feet. Oh, no, man. And look, the man looks like he's completely out of his league. And I think, you know, Jackson M.P. Chauke now letting go of the bullets. Oh, Jackson Chauke. He's got great ammunition there. Beautiful head movement. Now, now measuring his range. Looking for that uppercut. He can smell blood. His opponent has been twice down already. Any, any chance that uh, Mustafa has recovered? Look, I, I, doubt, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, his eyes still look a bit... Uh, oh, there's another left hand there. Snapping his head back and another. Oh, the fight has been called. The fight has been called, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Eric Koza has saved it. It's like Jackson heard me ringside. He's like, Jackson, are you going to win? Are you, you going to win, Ranty? Are you going to win? You did it. He has saved. Look, the referee Eric Koza, those of you who are watching at home, who are always against the stoppage. This man, Mustafa Mukapisi, has been saved. Uh, well done to the referee, Eric Koza. He think he saw too much. Well done to him. Um, and just like he called it, Jackson M. Fitch, okay, call it. He said third round, he, he's going to put him away. He, he did it, he did it, because he did it. He, he lived up to it, and that's a hard thing to do, man. But uh, he did it in a fashionable way, pressed him in a quality fashion, and was able to land beautiful, beautiful shots. Oh, and that topic left hook was the, was the number. What a classy fighter. Now officially 21 and 1. 15 KOs, Jackson M3. Okay. All right, so with the highlights of this uh, penultimate round, you got Jackson leaving under there to the left again, getting on the inside, on his chest, putting his head on the chest of Mustafa, and then coming over with that chop being left hook. So he really smothered, closed the gap, forced uh, Mustafa to lose his reach, his distance, yep. and then he used his short toppy punch over the top of the head where he, he saw there was a gap. And uh, it was effective. There again, he rolls under and brings that left hook over. Boom, and it tests him on the top of the temple. That's definitely, like you were saying with the wobbly legs, that's where it takes the equilibrium out and you start feeling jagged legs. Uh, for now certainly, a man, oh man, wow. Look, uh, that first knockdown, I thought the man was out. He was buying time and, you know, there's quite a bit of experience, you know. You don't just get up immediately. This is, uh, you know, so kudos to him for, for doing that. Have to give him that in yep. a huge way. But man, oh man, Jackson M3 Chalke doing exactly what he said he would do. Let's turn over to Dev Kara, the man in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, before I get to the particulars, I'd like to welcome into the ring the lady who will be handing over the belt to the winner. The general manager and senior vice president of the Walt Disney Company. Christine Service, thank you very much for being with us here tonight. And with that, we move.
move on to the final results of the main event of the evening. Referee Eric Causa waves the bout off at two minutes and three seconds into round number three, declaring your winner. Coming by way 